Hey Minecrafters, just a couple more days as of this recording, two more exactly, until 1.19 comes out. And I thought I would show a couple of ideas I had for different flooring designs. So I've got uh, some very easy ones, some checkerboards, and then uh, a couple of uh, surprises over there. Uh, a couple of them we're going to build together. So let's jump right into this, stick around to the end and find out those last two. They are... Um, Pretty doggone cool if I do say so myself. Okay, let's jump right in. First, we have uh, a brownish palette, um, kind of for, good for a rustic floor. We have our dark oak logs, mangrove logs placed on the side so you can see the bark texture with both of those. Stripped spruce, again placed on the side so you're seeing the side texture. And mangrove muddy roots. It adds just a little bit of dimension to it. Nothing too complicated, but uh, just a little bit of extra color to it. Next up, we have this lovely brown pattern. Again, it's it's more brown. It's more like a, a little more a uh, little more refined, a little less rustic. This one has your stripped dark oak logs, stripped spruce logs, and mangrove logs, and dark wood planks. Again, just mix them up in random patterns. I liked the, the way the end was on the stripped dark oak. This is the spruce. That's the mangrove. And then that is the dark oak planks. You could, if you wanted to, switch these out and go with the end. I just liked the extra um, little bit of pattern that the ends gave. Oh, that's the wrong one. they using the end gave. Again, as you saw there, I thought about using the dark oak. Uh, I think it's just a little bit too busy, so I used the stripped dark oak. Our next one is a red palette. It is using the stripped mangrove logs on the end and on the side. Mangrove planks, netherrack, because the more uses we have for netherrack, the better, because we always have it coming out of our ears. And then some crimson nylium just to give it a little bit of an extra pop of color. Um, you could leave that out if you wanted to, if you wanted it to be more subtle. Um, I liked that extra little red, that little brightness in there. Just a few little hints here and there. On to our deep slate one. So with this one, here's a little tip. Deep slate. That's also deep slate. If you place deep slate on the end, it's one pattern. But if you face into the block, it has a slightly different pattern. So you can actually get two. These work just like the um, just like the logs. So you can see that's deep slate. That's also deep slate. So with this one, we have our deep slate placed in two different directions: our mud, blackstone, and smooth basalt. It has kind of that bluish hint to it. I think this would be really good for like a little bit of a brighter a dungeon. I don't know. I just, I really liked the dark colors. Again, if you didn't like the um, the brightness of the black stone in there, you could take that out and put in more deep slate or substitute in more of the mud bricks. Um, I just, I, I like having that extra little variation, just a little bit, um, little add a little more texture to it. Next up, we have some of the more lighter tones. So this one is a mixture of packed mud, mud bricks, dripstone, which is also another one we tend to have a whole lot of and not really know what to do with, and rooted dirt. Rooted dirt you can get under any azalea tree. Um, so if you grow an azalea tree, uh, the little block of dirt underneath it will turn into a block of rooted dirt. So this is actually fairly easy to get. Um, I like this one. It's got just a little bit of the pinkness to it from the rooted dirt and a little bit of contrast there between the mud and the um, dripstone. Our next one here uses a block that a lot of people overlook. So we have brown concrete, terracotta, and packed mud. But this one right here Brown mushroom block. I noticed a lot of people kind of overlook this. This is a really good block. It's very cheap to get. Um, you can find it pretty much all over the dark forest. Um, if you use a silk touch pickaxe or a silk touch um, axe rather, not a pickaxe, 
well, any silk touch tool, you can get that um, from the large mushrooms that grow there. And then you can use it for your floor. I like the way it looks. It's got a little bit of texture to it, but it's not over the top. Uh, and it blends really well with this palette. Uh, again, some people may not like the pinkish that is with the terracotta. The, the regular This is the regular terracotta, not a colored terracotta. Um, and so you could leave that out and it would be a little more subtle um, if you wanted to. But like I, like I said, again, I think it was a little more texture. This one, this is one of my favorites. So this one is just using two blocks. It's using black concrete powder and the skulk. This one is the skulk vein on top of it. So these are all black concrete powder. This one's also black concrete powder, but with the skulk vein on it. So it adds just a little hint of um, color to it. I think this would be really good in like looking up leading up to a portal or something or leading into like a like through an enchanted forest i don't know i think it looks cool you might not i don't care let me know down in the comments what you think if you think you if you like this one tell me about it if you don't tell me about it i want to know here we're moving on to some more structured checkerboard type patterns so this one I think this one looks terrific. This is one of the best checkerboard patterns I've seen yet. It's the mud brick with the calcite. I think these two work so well together because they both are just a little subtle. They're not super clean. It looks like natural marble tile. I This is my new favorite thing. You're probably going to see it in a lot of builds of mine coming up. Um, it would make a great checkerboard or a chessboard. Um, another one that would make a really good one here is, again, the calcite with the mangrove, stripped mangrove log, faced end up. Um, it adds a little bit of a extra texture, a little extra pattern. Um, I like this one. This one here is a little bit more busy. Um, for some people, it might be a little bit too busy. I tend to like it um, if it's something small, or uh, rather something large and not something small. So this is just the... Uh, stripped mangrove logs and the polished basalt on the end so again this is another directional block that a lot of people overlook it's got two textures one's on the side one's on the end so if you place it facing down you get the end if you place it facing into another block sideways you get the sideways texture the side texture this is a really good checkerboard this one's another one that I actually i think people tend to overlook the bone block. So the bone block is another one. You can place it on the end. You get this real subtle texture going sideways. But I like the way the circles work with the squares. It's kind of an interesting contrast between the two. Um, between the mangrove logs and the bone blocks. So here's a little bit of a darker one if you wanted a little bit of a darker texture. This is the mud bricks and polished basalt stacked on end again um, you could make any kind of pattern you want these are all checkerboard patterns I think these would work really well with just about any pattern almost any pattern you could think of I think it would work work really well so these next two these next two here um, these are gonna be creative only sorry but you can only get this block right here in creative uh, it is not available in survival yet um, I, I don't know that it ever will be but this is the reinforced deep slate this only faces up it is it looks like it should be a directional block however if you aim it into another block it still just faces up I think it makes a very interesting floor um, again you're only going to get this in creative you can't get this in survival um, you can mine it in survival, but it doesn't drop the block. Um, so since we're in creative and we can only get this one in creative, I thought another really cool pattern was this with the netherite block. Block of netherite is something that you are not going to have an overabundance of. I mean, unless you spend hours and hours and hours mining it in the nether, then yeah, you might. But I think this works really cool as a checkered floor or you can any kind of pattern again. Again, 
I you're only gonna get this in um, survival, so hey, why not go for that block another right? So here we have a couple of interesting ideas that I had, and I I like them, but I'm not sure exactly where I would use them. Um, so this is just a couple of the deep slate ores with the skulk vein on top. So this one is the deep slate copper ore with the skulk vein on top. Here we have the lapis or deep slate lapis ore with the skulk vein on top. And then if you're really rich, the diamond one with the skulk vein on top, I think this one looks the coolest. I don't know where I would use it, um, but I do think it looks um, like it'd be fun to find a, some use for it. I like the subtle animation of the skulk. Um, I don't know. Those are just something I'd throw out there. So now let's get on to these. We're actually going to build these together. So first let me clear my inventory and now let's get right into this one. So. This one uses the pillar quartz, chiseled quartz block, white stained glass, and the skulk. First, put the skulk down in the bottom of your hole. Now, put your chiseled quartz in the corners. Use your pillar quartz on the side. Again, this is one if you face it down, it has a different texture than if you face it into a block. So you want it facing into the block. So you get those lines going across like this. Uh, some of you can probably already see kind of where this is going. Now put the white stained glass over the top and it kind of looks like you're looking out through a portal this or through some kind of mystical chamber. I don't know. I don't know. I thought this one looked kind of cool, especially from a distance. Um, would make really good as a window or a floor. Um, either one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know. It was just something fun. Then here is another one with a skulk block. This one uses the skulk block, block of iron, and iron trap door. I made two different versions of this one. You can make a line of the iron block. I think this one looks really industrial. Um, would make really good cool uh, space station effect. But you put the iron doors on it and you can kind of look, it looks almost like you're looking out through a portal of some kind like a like a window in a spaceship or something. Um, the other way I did this I took and I used what we did over there and put the skulk in the bottom. Iron blocks all around. And then I put the iron trap doors so they're flush. You can, again, it looks like when you walk over it, it's almost like you're looking out through into space or something. I don't know. Then this last one, this one has got to be one of my favorite effects. Again, it's just using the skulk block, black concrete powder, black stained glass. Yep, you guessed it. Skulk's going in the bottom. Black concrete powder goes around the outside. And this is where the magic happens. I don't know why, but the black glass is almost completely invisible on the skull. So whenever you're walking across it, it looks like you're walking straight across the pit and kind of has a floating effect to it. I love it. I don't know. I have, I have no idea where I'm going to use this, but I am going to find a way to use this effect. I don't know yet. Let me see. Mm, thinking, thinking, thinking. Nope, I have no idea yet. It doesn't matter though. So. If you like these and um, you think that some of these may be something that you're going to use in your design, tag me, send it to me, message me. I'm on Twitter. I'm on um, Planet Minecraft. Uh, you can message me, post a link in the description down below. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think of these, and I will have. Um, 
uh, another tutorial up pretty soon. Hopefully you guys are excited, as excited about the 1.19 update as I am, and we will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.